Hey guys, it's Mr. AJ's Tech here, and today I got a quick, quick um, video basically going over the MacBook Pro i7. It's going to be showing you a few speed tests, and uh, I'm going to be basically showing you how fast to boot up, and um, some heavy applications and simple applications, how long it takes. So I'm going to go ahead and get the um, stopwatch actually going, and we'll just go ahead and hit the power. So here we go. This is the boot up. This is the i7 2.7 gigahertz MacBook Pro 2011 model. So here we go with the booting. It's also hooked up to my external display. So here we go. And this is the i7 2.7 gigahertz. What I already said, 2011 model with Thunderbolt HD webcam and everything of that sort. I do have a lot of uh, stuff already installed on the computer, so you will see that. And then this is not an SSD drive. If it was an SSD drive, it would probably be much faster. So here we are, just waiting for the um, final boot. And here we go. Probably about there. Probably about 55 seconds, but there we have it stopped at 57.6 seconds. So that was the i7. It de it's definitely not the um, where it shines in the boot up test. It's definitely where in applications such as iMovie rendering video or even open up applications. So I'm going to show you Photoshop CS5 opening up. So here we go. Photoshop CS5, Adobe Photoshop. I'm going to open it and you'll see how long it takes and there we go a um, few bounces and then once the splash screen comes up there it's opened so that's really nice so we'll go ahead and close up instant close we'll open up Microsoft Word and that too is pretty instant um, there we go Okay. Everything seems much faster than the Core 2 Duo MacBook Pro, and I do have it hooked up to the external display. So, the reason why it's having issues is because it's trying to do something else. Um, but all applications really are just so much faster. Safari, for example, on my old Core 2 Duo MacBook Pro, it took probably about six to eight like bounces on the application bar. And um, 57 seconds for booting was not bad. I mean, it's not the best, but it's really the i7 from the Core to do is definitely a sufficient upgrade. Plus, I mean, it's like I don't know. It just feels so much better when I'm rendering video. It actually handles memory usage much better. So that was just a quick video. Um, I'm really impressed with the way it handles Photoshop. Sometimes, yep, as you can see, that was just two seconds for Photoshop to go. I think the first time I opened Photoshop, it took a while. And I think that was because uh, it was just booting up and it was getting a few things going. But now if we press it, two seconds. Uh, that was liter literally two seconds for Adobe Photoshop. Let's open up iMovie. That was three hops, and actually it's open down here. So that's that. And um, if you want any more information about the MacBook Pro i7 and how it handles, I also do still have a 15-inch MacBook Pro uh, Core to do with 2.66 gigahertz processor. If you want some video showing how fast rendering is, stuff like that, I can definitely show you and uh, help you out with your picking a MacBook Pro up. So guys, don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. Tell me if you like these MacBook Pro videos because I really like the new i7 processor. And I can compare it to my old uh, or my mom's 15-inch Core 2 Duo 2.66 gigahertz. So rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. See you.